Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. Let's play the Binding of Isaac version 1.48, Wrath of the Lamb edition, post-Halloween. I don't know, I'm recording this on November 1st. Let's do another challenge run, because the save's still a little bit messed up, and I'm still just getting back into my Isaac groove. What should we do? I mean, I don't, I want to do Doctor's Revenge, but we've already done that so recently. It might be, Isaac was good today, why don't we try that one? I've completely forgotten what the actual conditions of this one were. Uh, I guess we start with flying as well as like two stats upgrades or maybe just one stats upgrade uh, in addition to Holy Grail or something which gave us the flying and the, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm very confused about the way things are going so far but I'm, I'm also pleased with it because obviously it means we're going to start with uh, some very sweet setups for items here. Now we are on basement XL. That's both good and bad. It's good because, you know, when we find the boss room, we'll be able to tackle both bosses at the same time. It's bad because we, for whatever reason, do not have the D6, so we can't re-roll the plethora of item rooms we're going to come across. And it's especially bad because we don't have any keys yet, and if we don't get any keys, then... Well, actually, you know what? It might not even matter because we might not be able to even get uh, to item rooms because we already start with such good items. Although, I remember there was one of these uh, challenges where you start like incredibly overpowered and then it still gives you item run item rooms anyway and I was just like oh well that's nice of them to basically hand you the game on a silver platter so we're just gonna keep moving on here I anticipate positivity good success here again if anyone has any ideas what's going on with my save file and why uh, I have platinum god but still the cathedral is not unlocked feel free to let me know because uh, I am I mean, it, it's not something that's urgent, because I know I already earned Platinum God, and you watched me do it legitimately on camera over the course of like 280 episodes. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I'm, I'm mostly looking to do challenge runs, so after this run, maybe after the next run, it depends how productive I feel like being today. Uh, I might go check out that cheat engine software and see if I can get some challenge runs going. So again, I realize a lot of people have been doing this in comments for a long time, you know, asking for the return of challenge runs. Let's pop this open. Alright, excellent. Uh, if you have any good suggestions for challenge runs that might be possible to facilitate with the cheat engine, and again, I don't know the parameters or how that exactly works, so whether or not I'm, it, it works is still completely up in the air, but feel free to leave those in the comments. I'll check it out, and maybe uh, if there's some particularly creative ones that are also reasonable, uh, th those might get done in the future. Now, it's one of those things where I know people are going to suggest, like, do a run where you, like, don't get any HP upgrades. Well, I mean, it's possible, but... Try to pick something more reasonable, more in line with my actual, like, realized Binding of Isaac skill, which is, you know, to put it polite, above average, but certainly not, you know, the greatest player of all time or anything like that. So we're gonna take this, what do we have in here? We've got a map, which I certainly want, because it's gonna save us bombs when it comes to finding secret rooms. But we might not be able to buy it on this floor, because we're running a little bit low with respect to uh, rooms remaining. We don't quite have 15 cents yet. And you know what? 15 cents for the map is okay. It's, it's basically a guaranteed purchase, but there are better values that we could also obviously come across. For sure, though, we're going to be hoping to get... Uh, I'm just going to come right out and say it. We're going to be hoping to get good deals with the devil here. Uh, because we did not get any good deals with the devil on the last two runs combined. Which is disappointing, because, you know, you start out with all this great stuff. Well, actually, the, the two runs ago was just like an actual vanilla run, but... Uh, in that last challenge run, you start off with all this good stuff, but then you can't really leverage it into in anything. I just stacked up, like, HP upgrades, I got lucky and got the miter. And it was a fairly easy victory, although, you know, the Satan fight at the end came very, very close to going the wrong way. I think before we fight these guys, we should probably come back down here. Live bombs fucking everywhere. Uh, and we're just examining to see if maybe there might be three extra cents in one of these rooms somewhere. Ah, tricked ya. Oh, tricked ya. Ah, gotcha again. This is a fairly easy mechanic to make this work. Come at me, bros. Just funnel them in here. That nickel is going to mean that the map is uh, easily purchasable. So we'll be able to get to the secret room on every floor, provided our bomb supply sort of holds up. And we might as well go to everything here, because just because you never know, maybe you come across a golden chest. The golden chest gives you uh, an HP upgrade that otherwise you never would have gotten. We are going to go in the curse room as well. One of the few opportunities we have to pick up some really good stuff. So we're going to see good pills, please. Ah, meaningless pills, okay. That's fine, though. We basically gained half of a heart just going in there. Uh, half a spirit heart, I should say. And we'll come back over here, get the map. We've already been to the secret room on this floor, but overall, uh, this floor, I'd say, turned out reasonably well. We might as well buy another spirit heart while we're here. Nothing's stopping us. Actually, the only thing stopping us is that we should probably save money because we need it uh, to buy good items from the shop. We really need... I, I hate to say it because we've had it so often recently, but a blue candle would be fantastic. Who knows what else. I, I kind of don't want to go on a super defensive run. I don't want, like, Book of Candle. Or just Book of Candle. 
Oh, coincidentally, sounds like the most boring book ever made. Uh, you know, you go into like a, a Chapters or a Borders or an Indigo. I don't know what you guys have primarily in, in the United States. I assume it's Borders. We have mostly uh, Chapters and Indigo. Anyway, and you, you go to the magazine section, there's all these magazines like Candling Monthly, and you're like, who the hell subscribes to a magazine publishes 12 verbose issues a year about candling? I assume some of you out there have, have parents or grandparents who subscribe to magazines of this ilk. You gotta clue me into that reasoning, man. I guess it's it doesn't go much deeper than they love candles. I mean, that's cool, but... You know, crocheting quarterly, like stuff like that. I don't know, I guess in my old age I can see that. It's like when I used to be a, a young kid and I'd see like my grandpa watching documentaries on the History Channel and stuff. Like, Grandpa, you're so square, can I watch Power Rangers or something? Man, World War II, that's where, those are the real Power Rangers right there. 101st Airborne. Anyway, we're gonna take up our little Steven here, which is gonna give us a familiar. Which is good, because that is as close as we can get without getting an actual damage upgrade to getting some damage upgrade. Because our DPS is gonna be a little bit higher now. So we are just going to take out Larry Jr. Should be easy, I can fly. You know what would be useful actually is the Ouija board, because I can just hang out uh, over top of- Oh, that was bad damage. I can hang out over top of some of these rocks. And uh, just easily throw in a volley of bullets that Larry Jr. could not possibly dodge. But for now, I'm going to try to play a little safer than I have been playing, which I've basically been putting my ass out there to be pummeled. Putting my ass out there to be pummeled, the Northern Lion story. An exercise in sexual misadventure. So we're going to take our tears upgrade. These are good. I prefer these stat upgrades. We already have enough health to last us at least a little while, I would say. Uh, so I don't feel bad about getting these stat upgrades that are going to benefit us in the long run for sure. Increased rate of fire, little Steven, that's all good for our DPS. Three extra cents doesn't really mean anything in the long run, probably, but hey. It's okay. Uh, we might go to the curse room. Going to the curse room costs us half of a spirit heart, which we can probably afford right now for the potential benefit of getting whatever's in here. So let's check it out. That's a troll bomb, so we're just gonna vacate. So we, we lost half a spirit heart there, but it's worth it because occasionally you can get good deals with the devil item in those curse rooms. Uh, recall in uh, Isaac 101, I believe it was Lesson 1, Mikey Fox ended up getting uh, uh, the mark in like his first curse room. It might have been Episode 2, actually. Dude has no idea how lucky he is. So we might as well use a key just to see what we've got in the shop. We've got a ladder and a bomb. I don't really want the ladder, but again, it's one of those things where if I have 15 cents, I'll probably buy it just because it'll get us keys and bombs that we'll need going forward. Uh, but hopefully, I guess what I'm really banking on here is a deal with the devil on this floor. High Priestess, good card. Uh, deal with the devil on this floor, transitioning into a more high damage item. And we might actually get enough, not quite here, but in the near future, to get to uh, the 15 cents required for the ladder. So we're just gonna hang out. Get it, hang out. Well, we're not really hanging, we're flying, but you know, cut me some slack. They both have to deal with being suspended in the air. I'm trying here. A lot of my Isaac pun stock has been exhausted after, you know, 318, 319 episodes. 319 episodes, good god. I wonder if by this point, what percentage of my total life has been spent playing Isaac. Yeah, we'll definitely take Poison Touch, because it's an item, and we need all the items we can get, basically. Like, it's, it's certainly not 1% of my total lifetime has been spent playing Isaac or something like that, but we've got to be getting into a non-negligible percentage, right? Like, well, I guess I've only got, like, I've still got more hours in Dota 2 than I have in Isaac, and I haven't played Dota 2 in, like, six months. And I only played Dota 2 for like four or five months, so I don't know, man. That game was a, a time killer. Great game, but you, you gotta know what you're getting into when you get started there. It's one of those games where, you know, I feel like once you got like 2,000 hours in it, you gotta be like, okay, well, I've, I gotta go pro now. Apologies to anyone watching this that has 2,000 hours in a MOBA and has not gone pro. I understand you can just play them for fun as well. But I was not the kind of person that could just sit down and play Dota 2 for fun. It was like, I've gotta, we're gonna dethrone Na'Vi! Which is a joke that might not make sense to that many people, but hey. We're gonna come down here, we got nothing. Uh, and we're gonna go to the Caves Bar 1. It's been a good floor so far. High Priestess, might as well. Yeah, pretty much killed 10% of Chubb's health. That's, or, Ch or Chad's health. That's embarrassing, it did less than one bomb. Alright, come at me, Chad. I said, come at me, not come on me. Common mistake. Oh man, that's terrible damage. The reason that's really bad is because now... Oh, come on. Uh, now I'm less likely to get that deal with the devil, and that's gonna... 
What's the opposite of pay dividends? It's gonna hurt a lot in the, the long run. I hate saying long run. It's become my new catchphrase. It's like the 30th catchphrase in this Let's Play. So, I guess we know what we're getting here, sadly. But I hope that I get a deal with the devil to go along with it, because Little Chad is not a great item. And again, when it rains and pours, we got Little Chad last time, we're gonna get him this time. Now, deal with the devil. What do we got? Oh, I kind of hate both of these, but we're gonna make it interesting and go with Guppy's head. I don't hate Guppy's head, I shouldn't have said that, but, you know, she didn't hear me, so I don't have to apologize to her. Or him? Guppy? Male name? Female name? I feel like, uh, when you have a name that ends in, like, a Y, or an E sound, you expect it to be a female name? But then you got like, Jeremy Spoken. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see. I uh, should be using Guppy's head on every single room, but I'm not because I'm a dummy. And hopefully we get a better item. <laughs> Again, I feel like Guppy's head would be, would be awesome if it was like the candle and it recharged more than once per room. But with only one charge per room, there's just so many better spacebar items than it. That it's uh, pretty easy to look over. When it comes to, like, endgame spacebar items, it's just really not that useful. Now, I, I would definitely still be up for a deal with the devil. I would love to get rid of this, you know, archaic tears I'm shooting and get something like, uh, I don't know, like a kitchen knife or maybe uh, an ethereal laser beam or something. Anything along those lines would be welcomed. I don't understand why sometimes Guppy's head you gives you three flies and sometimes it only gives you two. Hardly seems fair, does it? I want some consistency here. Oh, that was bad. Now we're taking a lot of damage. We're only 12 minutes into this run. There's no reason we should fail this this early, though. Because everything's going reasonably well. But uh, And not to mention, we have a lot of great stuff going for us. Uh, but we still need a little bit more. I mean, we could probably beat Satan with this run, but I'm still thinking, like, from chest cathedral terms. We could use a little bit more if we want to make this run, like, the best it could truly be. U.S. Marine style. Keep moving to the side here, super gluttony. Not that much more difficult than regular gluttony when it comes down to it, although he did hit me at the end there. Uh, we'll take our extra money. We certainly want to go to the shop on this floor. We'll pop that open so we get three and only two flies this time. Maybe I'm just hallucinating and it's always only giving you two. I don't know. What, what can I say? Sometimes brain gets a little crazy. Uh, we have golden poop here, which doesn't strike me as something I'm super interested in right now. Just kidding. Of course, that money is going to be super important for us. Not interested in golden poop? Well, only five cents, so it's like we just found a nickel, basically. Golden poop has the potential to pay out much more than that, but... Uh, we'll... You know, we gotta deal with the cards that were dealt. Should be using Guppy's head a little bit more. I think that's a mistake I made in a recent video, too. I just didn't use Guppy's head nearly as often as I should have. There we go. We got that. Guppy's head popped. We got three that time. Now it gets interesting. Because I'd probably want to go with Book of Revelations over anything else. Hermit gives us... Basically buying the Hermit was like giving us a free key to go to the shop. And then we'll just move on. So again, Guppy's Head's been cool. Uh, it's been fun. But we're going to switch back to a more traditional item from the Northern Lion perspective. But it's been a while since I really used Book of Revelations that much. And I'm hoping that this is going to compensate us. Because what I'm really... My ideal circumstance, we get Deal with the Devil... We get rid of basically all of our red hearts so that we can play the the Polaroid Invincibility game. Ah, oh, that sucks. So we can play the Polaroid Invincibility game once we get the, that trinket. Uh, and beyond that, then we just uh, leverage our existing health into Sweet Deals of the Devil. Guppy's paw would be awesome too. We might as well fight the boss while we're here. I don't think there's any reason why not to. Of course we knew it was going to be Pestilence. And given this, we should be able to get up to a third cube of meat. So we get one on Catacombs, we should fight one on the very next floor too, uh, War. And after we kill War, we'll have second cube of meat. After we get past the wound part one, we'll get third cube of meat. And that'll be great for fighting Mom's Heart and potentially Satan as well. But of course, let's not count our chickens before we hatch, we gotta get there first. And what would be awesome is third level cube of meat and Mom's Knife, am I right? This guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy definitely knows. Yeah, I know you all know what I'm talking about. Let's not go down that road any further. Thank you for the spirit hearts. I'll make good use of that. We'll pick up the uh, cube of meat as well. And let's go down left, I think, is uh, the path that we're going to take here. Because it's the only path remaining on the map. So you probably could have figured that out for yourself. I'm just hoping to pick up a little bit of extra money down here. Maybe bombs, maybe keys, who knows. The good news is, combination with the map... Oh, I almost got hit by that spider. In combination with the map and uh, the fact that we have enough bombs, we should be able to go to every secret room. And by going to every secret room, we should be able to go to the uh, shop on every single floor. Now what we're going to do here, 
A little bit risky. You've seen me do it about 200,000 times before. Uh, we're going to play this at least four times, provided it doesn't give us the blood bag. Might as well play it five times just to, you know, exhaust it there. Uh, then we're going to go back here. We're going to go to the boss trap room, see what we get there. Uh, and leverage that into something potentially useful. Because, you know, when you're playing on these runs where you don't have access to any item rooms, it's always good to do whatever you possibly can to get as many items as possible, even if the items are not all that great. This is a great item, though. Tears plus HP upgrade may also be, um... May also be uh, a damage upgrade. Many people tell me that, that meat is a damage upgrade. I've never done the actual research myself. However, I've never done the actual research myself. The Northern Lion story. A history of plagiarism on the high school and collegiate level. That's not true, by the way. You should be careful saying that, man. Universities take academic honesty, or dishonesty, very seriously. Could find my degree revoked. And then, I, you know, I wouldn't be qualified to YouTube Let's Play anymore. So, I, I kind of just want to, like, end this room. Like, or, like teleport out with a hermit card. But I'm going to save it. We finished it anyway. We got our key with me. Or, sorry, we got our spirit heart from Book of Revelations. It's all good. Um, there should be enough health down here to at least get us back to nearly full, if not full. There's definitely enough health remaining in that, uh, boss trap room, or the actual boss room, I should say. So, we'll get going over there. My voice is sore, man. It's not used to the pressures and the rigors of your standard Isaac run. You know, keeping your voice at a mid-level of excitement. Screaming occasionally when bad shit happens, like that sweet game-breaking glitch that we got in the first run today. Let's drop down. We're gonna get another vignette, and, well, I didn't actually see what that entailed, because I switched out of it too quickly. Stupid me! That's why I still don't know the names of, like, half the bosses from Wrath of the Lamb. Come back over here. Murder this dude easily. Murder this dude even more easily. Even easier. So we'll pick up this key. Key's situation is going well for us, of course, on the one run where we don't really need it at all. Might as well hermit into the shop. Uh, we might as well buy the steam sale, because we have the money for it. And we'll pick up another Spirit Heart as well. And why not another bomb? We've only got one more floor. We're definitely going to get enough money to use the... Oh, careful. We're definitely going to get enough money to use the shop on the next floor. Provided we, we find a good secret room. Actually, ideally, maybe on the next floor, the secret room would contain uh, greed. So that the shop didn't contain greed. I hate this situ... Oh, come on. How could that hit me? There's Oh, there's a bridge in the way. I see what's going on here. I want to get the pill, but I don't want to get hit. What, what does the pill do? Yeah, pretty fly. Worth it. Shop contains. This is library. Monster manual. We're going to use the monster manual just because we don't want to uh, ever see it in another library again as long as we live. So, uh, oh, this is. We tell, must have teleported down here to the shop, I, I believe. So that's why we don't have any information on what any of these rooms hold. That's fine. In terms of power, this run is fairly weak so far. But from a defensive standpoint, it's, it's quite good. Or vitality standpoint, I don't know what, what attribute you want to attribute this to here. Uh, I can't shoot this guy. We're just doing the dipsy doodle here. Okay. Did we get anything there? We got some red hearts that I can't use. We got a curse room, which I will probably go to again. Oh, I just dodged right into that one. Uh, the reason I'm going to go to the curse room is because... Uh, we can... Well, it looks like we're going to be out of spirit hearts by that point anyway. And red hearts are, of course, easily replenishable. So we're going to open this. Contains a red heart. Well, that's going to make it not easy for us, but at least we'll have the chance to replenish it as quickly as possible. Let's see what these pills do. Good ones, please. Range up. So it's at least going to give us a bonus when it comes to range uh, of two. Come on, you can do this. Oh, no, you can't. There we go. We're back to full health. Although we did lose, like, 20 spirit hearts over the past 10 seconds. Or two rooms, anyway. Um... I pretty much hate this room. And you know what? With seven bombs, let's do things the, the cheap way, the Homer Simpson way, and just get the hell out of here. And I think that is going to serve us much better than actually trying to get involved in some serious combat there. That may or may not have turned out in my favor. Obviously, this section is going to be reasonably easy for us. If anything comes up here... I mean, it's Necropolis 1. It's not easy floors. As a uh, book of revelations just charged there. Uh, these are not easy floors, but uh, they're not too difficult, or at least shouldn't be so far. So we're fighting Ultra Pride again. I hate that. 
Uh, but it's better than the two videos ago when we fought Ultra Pride. It should at least be okay for us to, to kill him fairly easily. Because the creep can't hurt me. And I'm actually fast enough to get out of the way of those homing shots. That time we fought Ultra Pride before was just goddamn abysmal. Let's keep this up, do a little rotation. A couple more hits, he'll be dead. A couple more hits, he'll be dead. Yeah, nice creep, you scumbag. There we go. So we got the left hand. We're gonna take it because we don't have any other trinket. Even though left hand has historically not really been that great or that bad for me. And my spirit heart is already gone because I think I just ran into that leaper. I got hit once by Ultra Pride, I guess, too. So kill this dude. We really need on our shop on the next floor, we need to come across a battery or a nun's habit or something. Anything to uh, allow us to maintain our spirit hearts a little bit more. But of course, I would also just love to... As we get double spiders there, I would love to get Mom's Knife or Brimstone. That would also solve a lot of my defensive problems by way of solving my offensive problems. Because we would just start doing a ton of damage. So provided we can stop these guys from shooting spiders, this is an easy room. There's another key back here that we might as well get. And our boss room should be coming up in the very near future. But in the meantime, these guys are going to be easy to take out one by one. Sometimes you just run across a layout with these, with these guys that uh, makes it pretty much a no-brainer. So you are deceased. 15 cents means the shop on the next floor is certainly viable. Now after our boss room, we will get a spirit heart revival which is very good because we are going to need that charge as we move ahead here because things are not going superbly for me right now and here's the question do we want to go back here for full health was there anything uh there was some dick holeish stuff in this room oh well now we've got to do it just to break even okay so no harm no foul we're definitely going to get full health by the time we leave this floor provided we don't run into the worst oh yeah i remembered we were going to fight uh war anyway sometimes i get distracted Sometimes when I freestyle, I lose confidence. Um, we need to do this. And he is going to die. Finding of Isaac commentary in a nutshell. We are going to do this. Scumbag Northern Lion says we're going to do this. Never does it. I like how a lot of you guys pointed out in that second Vintage Isaac episode. Uh, I was like yelling at myself. And I was so busy yelling at myself that I missed the fact that I had missed a treasure room. What can I say? It's just... Me in a nutshell. No, this is me in a nutshell. Help! How did I get into this bloody nutshell? Duh, this is a bloody big nutshell, isn't it? Uh, so there's Book of Revelations. Nearly full health, anyway. Second cube of meat, it gives us some extra uh, damage potential. But beyond that, let's just go down here. Check out this vignette. I'm gonna check Twitter on my phone, just in case I got some very important messages, which I did not. And we're on Necropolis with Curse of Darkness now, which is horrible. Because we cannot see where the heck we are going. We didn't have a compass anyway. But it's kind of disappointing because if I... I mean, this is going to be a big floor. And if I don't find the shop right away, uh, it could be an issue for me. Because, like, find the boss room, backtrack, then try to find the shop and find my way back to the boss room could be difficult. I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime, though, I'm just going to focus on taking out these guys the only way I know how. Lazily... And with a little bit of fear in my voice as they start to shoot. As uh, you can see right there. Okay. We're dead. I am still alive. And actually, I'm at back to full health. So I could go to that mob trap room that is behind us. I haven't been playing, like, very well here. To be honest with you, I, I'm starting to realize why these are called challenge runs. I mean, these are just single runs. So it's kind of anecdotal. I haven't run any kind of statistical analysis on it or anything. But overall, so you start with flying and, like, two extra health upgrades. Those are great items. But you're missing out on, like, six item rooms. And that's potentially, like, really, really good. So I don't know. I know the challenge runs are not necessarily substantially more difficult. But certainly they bring a different kind of challenge to the table. So this is a golden chest. I'll, oh, well, it's HP upgrade. I might as well go through with it. Even if we lose our spirit heart, this should be uh, worth it in the long run. Especially if, you know, God willing, I end up getting a deal with the devil... At some point soon, I'm actually probably... Actually, no, I've taken a deal with the devil at this point, haven't I? Did I not? Did I not take Guppy's head? I took, traded two hearts for Guppy's head and then traded it in on the next floor. I think. I don't know. Not great business, but... I thought it might spice things up a little bit. In any case, though... Uh, yeah, Mom's Knife Brimstone, man. Give me something here. Get an extra bomb there. I realize people always complain when I get Mom's Knife and Brimstone. Some people, anyway. I like him. What can I say? It increases my chances of success, and that's why I'm here. 
Now, okay, we've not been in this room, but this room's a dead end. I'm trying to, like, map this shit in my brain. But I'm not sure if that's gonna work out for me, because I have the, the brain of a hamster. We are going to come up here. There was a direction we hadn't gone. I guess it's gonna be both left and right here, because obviously we haven't uh, been up this way. Anyway, I said this is a big floor. It's not, like, cathedral-sized. It's... I, I, I feel like the chest might even be smaller than the cathedral, but... Uh, it's, not, it's not like the womb or anything like that, but it is big. It is big. It's not a womb or anything, but it is big. The Northern Lion story. How I coped with having a micro-vagina as a male. I don't know. I'm trying here. I like this, the subtitle part. The Northern Lion story meme has changed. So drastically. It used to be something, something, something. The Northern Lion story. But now it's like, there's a tagline after it. Soon we'll have a publisher. We'll be doing the printing press over on Columbia House. Columbia House, I think, makes records. Or used to, anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's go to the shop, which is gonna contain greed and crush all my hopes and dreams. Okay. So how do I feel about her chances for success now? Uh, versus... It, it depends. Basically, that's what it comes down to. Like, old folks pissing, I guess it all depends, though. Uh, we are going to get a treasure from Mom. Hopefully not just an HP upgrade, hopefully it's something more beneficial. Then on the first floor of the womb, we should get... Uh, a third cube of meat, which is gonna be awesome. Oh, uh, we don't want to go here, yeah. Um, then... We're gonna fight Mom's heart, and then probably we're gonna go down and fight Satan, provided we get that far. Uh, the third cube of meat is gonna be, like, the, the principal determinant, because... And that and the treasure that we get from Mom here, because we know that... Uh, Mom will drop some treasure for us in addition to the Polaroid. Hopefully it's a pentagram or something that allows our tears to actually do some damage. Because I don't want to be relying on our third cube of meat to do all the damage for us. An extra candle would be sweet as hell too, but that's not gonna happen. And plus, we, we two out of three runs today with a candle. It's nothing to sneeze at. Take out Mom here. This is gonna be the more traditional, like a more old school Mom fight. It's gonna be slow. We're gonna have to watch out very much so for the enemies. We're gonna spend most of our time standing in roughly the middle. Uh, because I don't wanna get- Ah, oh, that's bad. I don't wanna get so close that I'm actually at risk of, uh, taking damage from the walls. Poison Touch actually might have been a blessing in disguise there. It did a lot of damage. I'm just gonna hang out over here. Dodging shots with small dodges. You don't need any major overarching swings across the entire level here. Just gonna settle down. Going well so far. Ne next foot drop should be a death for mom here. Very close. Actually, I, my prediction was correct there. So we get a tears upgrade. Believe it or not, I'm actually happy with that because the faster we fire, the more damage we can do, obviously. There were better items we could have gotten, but there are certainly worse ones we could have gotten as well. So let's head down to the womb here and see if we can't get anything awesome going down here. Now, the fact that we have the map means I'm going to come up here and we'll, we'll continue checking our secret rooms because you never know. There is like a one in... Yeah, maybe a 1 in 30, 1 in 50 chance that these are going to contain uh, Epic Fetus or the other one, um, P -P -P Fetus in a Jar. And either of those would be fantastic and basically guarantee me success on this run. But I'm thinking that our boss is going to be bottom left and that we are wasting our time. Oh, that laser actually got me? Uh, yeah, that we're going to be wasting... Oh my god, we chose exactly the right direction. Thank you, map. Otherwise, I probably would not have gone this way. I always wonder if I have some kind of like subconscious lean, like if I go to on a level where I can't see the map, what direction do I usually take most of the time? I wonder if it's right? I don't know. I feel like I like right and down. So up and left was not really my, my first choice. But anyway, yes, we are fighting uh, d -d -d death here. And by fighting death, we will get our third level cube of meat. Thank God we weren't fighting... Who's that other? Conquest. Conquest can sometimes show up when you use the Book of Revelations. And uh, that can throw your whole cube of meat plants into disarray, obviously. So the horse is coming from this direction, so I want to stand over here so I have as much time as possible to dodge. We're going to kill the death first, and then we're going to go on his horses. Oh, the horse is actually dead already. This is sweet, actually, because then we'll get... Oh, third cube of meat. So he's going to be our main damage dealer, because we're not going to get any more treasure for the remainder here. He's going to be very good against Satan, I can't deny that. Yeah, this is bad for us. These fucking lasers fire in one and a half milliseconds. 
and take a surprising amount of damage. They're not super hardy or anything like that, but they are a pain in the ass. So we're basically just gonna let uh, Meat Boy do his thing here. I'm not gonna sweat it too much. He's not gonna do a ton of damage. Uh, but, you know, better him than me being out there. Maybe when we get down to one of these guys, I'll, I'll start making moves, but for now, I'm just gonna let Meat Boy do his thing. We're gonna go to the library next. I don't know what they could possibly give me, to be honest with you. It might be better for me to have something like Book of Belial uh, than what I have been using. Oh, I almost got hit there. Because uh, I've, I've been squandering a lot of my opportunities here with Book of Revelations, I think. And maybe being without a safety net like that will help me out with respect to, uh, you know, being a little bit more cautious in my play. Who knows? I'm not a Binding of Isaac psychologist. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, nobody on planet Earth is because that would be a silly job. I did take some damage from this fight because I'm the dumbest man on Earth. Uh, and we are... Okay, well, you know what? Let's First off, let's get Book of Revelations charged one more time. Then we'll come back and we'll get Book of Belial. I was hoping that would be the boss room. It was not. But in the meantime, this room should not be super difficult, provided we can get that laser kill. Thank you. And now, Meat Boy. Your time to shine, buddy. If we can get by Mom, get back to full health, I don't sweat Satan too much. Because we'll be able to use Book of Belial once every three rooms, which is pretty substantial. But, I don't know, man. I, I'm giving myself like 50-50 odds right now of beating Mom. It all depends on what we... Uh, what kind of rooms we run across. Oh my god, that was the worst dodge of all time. It probably was not the ax absolute worst dodge of all time. I'm sure there's some guy who like dodged directly into a train in real life or something. It was like, oh, that sucks. Why'd you throw the pop can at me, Jimmy? Now I'm fucking dead. Uh, we're gonna come over here. This is not the boss. This is, however, a sweet ass opportunity to use Book of Belial. Otherwise, I could possibly take some damage here. This is a room that's been showing up a lot lately. Double Sloth. If I'm gonna deal with it, you know, effectively in the laziest way possible by cranking up my damage to the max. And then go into town. A couple more shots should do it. Even Meat Boy could probably finish this off. Uh, we don't... We, we kind of don't need to hold on to the Polaroid. We can go with anything else, but I don't want to get out of the habit of having the Polaroid. Because then I get used to, like thinking that I need better trinkets than I actually do need when you really don't need any trinkets beyond the Polaroid to succeed in this game. Who knows? Maybe the invincibility from the Polaroid will help us out as well. Let's kill this. We got some extra health. Oh, I, I should have gone uh, just to the right, just to see if that was the boss room on the far right side there. I doubt it is. I think it's pretty unlikely considering that it's very close to the start of the level. But it's certainly possible. Alright, you boy. You, you go to town on one of these guys. I got the other one. I said I had the other one, okay. Well, he did a good job, so I can't fault him for that. Back it up a little. Oh, that was close. These sloths don't like to give up, man. So we got the fool card, is just gonna serve as a teleportator. Teleportator? Teleportation device, I believe. That is not our uh, boss room. Instead, it's just gonna be an opportunity for us to pick up some extra supplies before we get to the boss room. Floor's going a little bit better. What did I tell you guys? As soon as I get rid of that. Book of Revelations. I have a better chance because I stop. So okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna pop Book of Bel Book of Belial and join Meat Boy in some of the conquests here. Reason being, uh, otherwise this is gonna take 500 years. Because Meat Boy is gonna be slow and he's not gonna be able to pick a target and like minimize threats and stuff like that. So we're just gonna hang out, fire some shots in. Oh, that was bad. I did take some damage. That one should die to Poison Touch or you know, soon after. Come on, Meat Boy. You can get the finishing blow on this one. Thank you for the spirit heart and the extra health as well. Arcade? Who knows? Could be useful. I was hoping there would be a fortune teller here. So we can play this. Maybe we'll play this down to like 25 cents. We'll get some spirit hearts out of it. Maybe a better trinket. Although I kind of don't want to get rid of my trinket. Empress is already good. Certainly beats the fool. So we got five more plays to go. We also picked up another spirit heart as you saw. Uh, but the Empress really is going to give us a much better chance against Mom in this boss fight, I feel. And I probably will not save it for Satan. We'll just, we'll throw everything we have at the Mom's Heart boss fight. And hope that, uh, it all works out in the end. Chariot's good too. So what we'll probably do is take the Chariot and use it on maybe even this very next room. Yeah, it's kind of worth it. Uh, why am I not doing any damage to these hearts? Maybe the Chariot was a total waste there. 
I have no idea. I, th I thought I was I would just like run into them and kill them in one hit. Didn't work out that way though. Just play it cool here. Oh, that was not playing it cool. That was taking some dumb damage. Could have let Meat Boy just kill this guy. Uh, but we're gonna go back and pick up. What did I leave in here? The Empress. That's gonna be a very beneficial card for us moving forward. So why not play it down to 20 cents now? What can I say? I have a problem. Pinky Eye, decent trinket uh, that we don't need at all. This tarot card is Chariot again. Uh, so we're gonna take that and use it on this next room. Then we'll go back and get the Empress card. This should work. Yes, okay, much better. Where you at, buddy? There we go. Uh, that was a room that was not even really worth using the Chariot on. It's pretty easy in its own right, but hey. Maybe we'll get another trinket as we go up here and play this another few times. Oh, no. We're just gonna get back to full health, which is actually really useful for us. So we have now Empress and Polaroid again. Beautiful. Uh, let us now... Go to the room just before the boss room. And we should do crazy damage to Mom's Heart. This is an easy room. So I'm glad I used the Chariot on the room that I did. Because this room is way easier. Even if I did almost take damage on it. So first things first, I think we're going to take out the lasers. And then after the lasers are down, we're going to do our Empress Book of Belialness here. Uh, and I should really have dropped some bombs there. But give me a second here. I'm just getting into the swing of things. So finally, we should start doing some crazy damage. Of course, we're focusing on Mom's heart whenever it's up. Don't need to worry too much about focusing on Monstro, because it should die fairly quickly anyway. As you can see, we'll just drop some bombs in. It's pretty well timed. The Zambies. No, it's the lasers. That could have gone better. Could have gone worse, though. This is the Zambies. My least favorite. Oh, we got three of them, though. If I One shot should be enough. Ah, eh, maybe two. So again, just continue dropping bombs. Meat Boy apparently incapable of chewing anything. Seriously, man? Go attack the beast over there. It's the whole reason I hired you. Alright, fine. You know what? I'll do the dirty work. But we're fucked on the next floor because I'm not going to have Empress. Oh, well, we're not even going to get a chance to go down to Shoal apparently because we didn't get a deal with the devil. I guess that's the end of this challenge run. Man, I don't know what's going on with that, but that was pretty easy. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to do one more recording session today, and then I'm going to look into this cheat engine stuff and hopefully make some good challenge runs. So, suggest your challenge runs below, and as always, I will see you next time.